This week on Inside Boulder News. Election season is in full swing. We'll let you know about some important tips to remember when turning in your ballots. The city is experimenting with a new way of engagement. And after nearly three years of construction, this city project is complete. Welcome to Inside Boulder News, your source for all things Boulder. I'm Jocelyn Avendaño. On November 5th, Community members are invited to come out and have some fun with city staff. From playing blackjack with the city's finance department to playing putt-putt with the Zero Waste team, the city encourages its residents to come out and build stronger community relationships. Human City is an event designed to cultivate more people-centered interactions with city staff in a fun and informal way. We really want to help people break through the bureaucracy and have real authentic human interactions with people who work for the city in ways that are fun and unique and a little bit related to the job they do. The event is a collaboration between inner city departments and Warm Cookies of the Revolution, a Denver-based organization that create unexpected opportunities for people to participate in their community. Those three groups came together because we each have a strategy of starting to create spaces where people can come together around issues in a way that is different, or fun, or um, in a way that helps make difficult conversations more comfortable. Human City will feature a multicultural jam, salsa dance lessons, and a putt-putt course made of recyclable material. Attendees will have the opportunity to participate in this and many other activities as well. Building 61 will be open um, and we'll have in there one of their very popular instructors who teaches Sewing Rebellion and he'll be working with our Youth Opportunity Advisory Board um, to create baby blankets for our families in Boulder who are in need. Human City will take place on Monday, November 5th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Boulder Main Library's Canyon Gallery. Food will be available. Everything will be family friendly, so we hope that um, whole families will come together. We also hope that adults will come in groups and enjoy each other that way as well. More information on Human City can be found on the City of Boulder's Facebook page under events. After nearly three years of construction, the Wonderland Creek project is finally complete and the community came out to celebrate. This project was a flood mitigation project for approximately one mile of the Wonderland Creek, uh, starting up at Winding Trail all the way down here, um, just further down from where we're standing to Foothills Parkway. And it in included um, channel improvements of that stretch of creek to convey the 100-year flood flows. These improvements will help reduce the flood risk of numerous surrounding structures and dwelling units that are currently located within the 100-year floodplain. This area received significant damage during the 2013 floods. Fortunately, no lives were lost, but extensive damage up by 28th and Winding Trail. And before this project, the creek discharged or entered the irrigation ditch and caused extensive flooding on the other side of Foothills Parkway. And this project has actually separated those flows, which is going to be really important for the folks downstream of us um, to help protect them. The 30 million project includes three new underpasses that provide safe passage for pedestrians and cyclists. Over 1,000 trees and shrubs were also replanted. I so much appreciate the patience that this neighborhood has dealt with for the two years of construction in their backyard, but it is so gratifying. For more information on the Wonderland Creek Project, head on over to the website seen on your screen. Election season is in full swing, and if you haven't registered yet, this is your reminder to get out and vote. Election day is around the corner. Thousands of ballots were sent out in the third week of October. And if you haven't registered, there is still time. In Colorado, we don't have a registration cutoff. We uh, have the technology to ensure that any eligible citizen 18 years or older that's lived in Colorado for at least 22 days, that they're able to vote and participate in this election. So we really want people to take advantage of that opportunity. Those eligible can register to vote up to and including election day. In order to receive a ballot in the mail, the Boulder County Clerk and Recorder Office must receive your voter information no later than eight days before the election. We really encourage people to vote as much as they can on the ballot because all of the issues from the state level down to your local city levels will impact your community and the world that you want to see. The Boulder County Clerk and Recorder Office expects to receive close to 190,000 ballots at this year's election. Usually our gubernatorial elections aren't quite as high of a turnout as the presidential, um, but this election there's been a lot of focus, there seems to be a lot of energy, so we're really excited and um, hope to have a really great turnout. 
Some helpful tips to keep in mind is to vote early, as this helps counties process ballots efficiently and get results to the community faster. Voting early also helps stop campaign phone calls. The other big tip is just to make sure that um, you get your ballot turned in by 7 p.m. Those seem to be the big things that people who have moved or are new to our community might not know. Please visit BoulderCountyVotes.org for all things elections related. Elections are Tuesday, November 6th. If you've never stepped foot on a public bus, listen up and give your car a break. Boulder's third annual Bus to Work Day arrives next week. Bus to Work Day celebrates riders who commute to and from Boulder on the bus. It also supports the city's transportation master plan and climate sustainability goals by encouraging the use of public transit. The event will take place on Tuesday, October 30th from 7 to 8.30 a.m. Free breakfast burritos and coffee will be available at the Table Mesa and downtown Boulder stations. Bus and bike swag will be given out as well as a limited number of free regional and local bus tickets. People should come out and participate because they can learn more about their transit options um, locally and regionally and we are here to answer any questions and support ridership. More information on Bus to Work Day can be found on the website seen on your screen. It's a frightful sight down at the Pearl Street Mall this Halloween as hundreds of tiny ghosts and goblins are expected to invade. Check out some of these upcoming family-friendly events celebrating the Halloween season. First on the list is OSMP's Halloween Doc Trick-or-Treating event on Sunday, October 28th. Visit fun and educational stations while your pup trick-or-treats for dog snacks and toys along the way. The event is free, but space is limited. To register, please visit the website displayed on your screen. And on October 31st, take your kids to the annual Munchkin Masquerade at the Pearl Street Mall. More than 100 businesses will be handing out treats this year. The event is put on by the Downtown Boulder Partnership, a nonprofit dedicated to the preservation and enhancement of downtown Boulder. More information can be found on boulderdowntown.com. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's edition of Inside Boulder News. If you have pictures, news tips, or events you'd like to see featured, we'd love to hear from you. Connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also sign up to receive video updates right in your inbox. Just go to boulderchannel8.com and click on subscribe. Have a good week.